This week on BGTV, Will is going to be chatting with the school mascot. Janae will be highlighting the new boutique run by students here at the high school. Finally, Luca will be giving us an inside look at the ski and snowboard club. Hey, hey wizards. wizards! I'm Chanel. And I'm Julia. And, and you're, you're watching BGTV. BGTV. Spirit is one of the most important aspects of what makes Washingtonville High School so special. Last year, BGTV's very own Will held the coveted spot of the wizard mascot. Since stepping away from the position, Will has passed the wand to a unique young man whom he will be interviewing this week. This is Michael Silva. By day, he's just an ordinary sophomore student doing his schoolwork and hanging out with friends. But when it's game time, he transforms into the face of the Washingtonville School District. Don't recognize him? How about now? What about now? How about with this? That's right. While most may not recognize him at first, Michael is actually our school's mascot, the Washingtonville Wizard. Now, while being the mascot seems fun and all, I want to know a little bit more about what his life is like behind the scenes. So, first question I've got to ask, what inspired you to become the Washingtonville Wizard exactly? It's kind of a funny story. It kind of happened, like, accidentally. I'm class president, so during one of our class meetings, Mr. Shust showed up, and then he was like, I need a wizard for today's game. He was kind of like, does anybody want to do it? And I just kind of threw my hand up, and then after the fact, I realized what I just signed myself up for, and then it kind of just stuck ever since. I guess fate chose you then. Yes, yes. What's your general process, like when you get ready for games? I like to get myself in character. Once I have the costume on, I kind of like reset and imagine myself as the wizard. And I, I create a mission for myself to entertain the crowd and make sure, you know, we're going to have a great game. How does it feel being known as like the face of the school practically, the wizard? Oh, face is a big, <laughs> big title. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose it is, yeah. Yeah, but um, I'm proud to represent the school and any visiting team, I'm glad that they see me and they know you're in Washington. So, aside from being the wizard, I want to let the people know, what are your other hobbies that you have? Oh, there's, there's a big list. <laughs> um, I play basketball. I'm class president, like I mentioned, yeah, of 2026. Music is one of my biggest hobbies. Everywhere I go, I have my AirPod Maxes with me, and I'm always listening to music. And, and my dad's a DJ, so I like to mix music with him, too. Mm. Music is a real big part of my life. My day-to-day -day life is pretty great. And I also actually hear that you have your own podcast. Would you like yes. tell us a little bit about yeah. that? So yeah, one of the biggest things that I do after school is I'm the head media coordinator for the eSports team. When Mr. Calvin, you had him on last episode. Of course, yep. yeah, that's right, I did. So I started the podcast called Wizards Wavelength. It's me and my co-host, Benjamin O'Keefe. We basically two friends talking about video games. Uh, well, you heard it here, Wizards. Once you're done watching this episode of BZTV, go check out Calderon's video game and eSports production channel. One last question I'd like to ask, because this has been a very interesting interview. Yes. What are your goals, or future plans rather, going into the rest of your life here at school? High school's short. Four years, it goes by way quicker than you believe. My goal is to get involved with as much things as possible and really make a statement in the school. And whether that's joining as the most clubs I can or making an impact with the teachers or my peers, I just really like want to explore the community and just be a staple at the school. Next up, Marquise will bring you a sports update. What's good, Wizards? This is Sports with Marquise, where I talk to you about the athletics happening here at Washingtonville. This week, I got access to our hardest training team in the entire school, the Varsity Wrestling Team, who are preparing for their upcoming match against Monticello. I also got the chance to talk with Musa Aljamal and Jace Goldberg, who are captains of the Varsity Team, to see how they are feeling about this upcoming season. Let's go see what they had to say. My 
favorite thing is probably winning and slamming people. I started wrestling in sixth grade, seriously. And then I did youth in third grade, but it wasn't that as serious. I started wrestling in seventh grade after I, I, I quit the town football. So I started wrestling in uh, seventh grade, modified. Uh, I love the discipline aspect of it. There's so much discipline, especially when it comes to cutting weight. Like you have to know what to do and what to eat and what not to eat. Uh, Colabel has been preparing me since last year. Like he just puts all his work in. He's such a nice coach. He's a great coach. He's like a state level college coach actually to me. And he's college ranked. So and he'll, he knows a lot of moves. He puts us through conditioning, strength training and technique training, so yeah. Uh, he's prepared me with, uh, with all of his styles that he teaches all the time. Uh, he, te he teaches great moves. Yeah, so s some of the drills would be, uh, uh, would be like the suicide, so it would be like running down and up the mat as fast as you can. And then another one that he's implemented this year is that like we blast double each other like across the wrestling mats, which is pretty cool. The reason why we do dodgeball here at wrestling is because we don't really have a lot of fun, you know, we do a lot of drills, a lot of effort, you know, we just put a lot of time on the max. Um, another reason why we do dodgeball is because it's a great team body exercise, you know, we have, a, we have a lot of fun on the max, you know, just have a good time, throw some balls around at each other, and let's just see who wins. Um, it makes me excited this year because this is my last year, so it's my final ride. So this year I'm hoping to win sections and do good as a team this year because our team is stacked. I'm excited because I, sh I should be ranked this season, so I hope to go out with you know being in the top five in my weight class at least. For, for the team, my expectations would be uh, that everyone does pretty well. I'm pretty sure everyone's going to do pretty good and everyone makes weight. It's a pretty strong team, for so my expectations is to do really well at section nine duels as well. Uh, and for myself, I would have to say, uh, like I said before, that I get in the top five. Uh, my expectations is for me to win sections and I go to states and place in states. And our team to at least like, win sections as a team, because I believe our team could win sections this year. In conclusion, you know, Dodgeball was a great time. You know, my team won 3 0 sweep, but um, hopefully, you know, we keep the fun alive. Now it's time to go to the match and let's get some work in. That's all for this week's installment of Sports with Marquise. I'll see you later. Stay tuned for more Wizard news after this quick commercial break. Looking for a delicious deli in town? Stop by Laura's Deli. Open 6 to 4 on weekdays and 7 to 3 on the weekends. And here's this week's announcements. Tickets are on sale for Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus at whsdrama.ludus.com. The Literary Magazine Club is looking for art and writing submissions for the theme of mystery. Anything from short stories, poems and drawings, to riddles and photos that spark your curiosity can be sent to Mrs. Bach, Miss Rubenstahl, or Violet Chang to enter the magazine. The most mysterious pieces just might win a prize. Submissions are due Friday, January 19th. Lit Mag meets Tuesdays in Room 109 and welcomes new members. On Wednesday, December 13th, SUNY Orange will be hosting an instant admissions event for Washingtonville High School at 11.15 a.m. There is no application fee, so please visit the guidance office to pick up an application and register for the event. Hey Julia, have you ever been thrifting? Yeah, a couple times, but it would be nice to have a local thrift store to shop at. Well, perfect, because there's a new student-run boutique here at the high school, and Janae is here to tell us all about it. Hey Wizards, did you hear we're having a new boutique at Washington High School? Our very own WHS students are bringing it to life. Let's go check it out. What is your first reaction about the boutique in Washington High School? Uh, we were very excited. Mrs. Crogslin first came to us with the idea. She had seen it done in other districts. So we were excited because we saw it as an opportunity to have our students learn significant life skills and employability skills. What are you looking forward to in the boutique? Um, I want to do things for clothing. What are you looking forward to in the boutique? Setting up all the clothes. I like it for dresses. I like it so pretty dresses blue. So how do you feel about making your boutique with your new friends? 
Well, a bow take is good, but because really it's exciting today. Okay, what about you, Stephen? I think the boutique will be fun and joyful. What should I buy at the boutique? Toy trees. Shoes. Clothes. What will you be doing at the boutique? We will organize clothes, cleaning, decorating, and helping customers. I'm doing in, in folding the clothes and helping the customers. I think it will be beneficial because not only does it give our students uh, an opportunity to learn vocational skills specific to retail, uh, it also gives access to, uh, to people to items that you know are, are really expensive and uh, now they can get you know good quality materials like uh, prom dresses, winter clothing, uh, and they can have access to it for a very, very reasonable price. That's it for today, Wizards. I'm Janae Amaral, and I'll see you next time. As winter rolls around, many people are looking forward to hitting the slopes. The students of WHS are no exception, so it is no surprise that our Ski and Snowboard Club is immensely popular at the high school. Now, Luca will bring us along to show us what this club is truly about. Nathan, when did you start Ski and Snowboard Club? I started Ski and Snowboard Club in 8th grade. And why do you think you still continued to be in Ski and Snowboard Club four years later? It's just a fun like thing to do. I go out with friends. I, it's just a one, it's one big party, basically. You go out with friends and have fun. So Nathan, how did you get into Ski and Snowboard Club? Well, I was walking around and I saw some of the flyers up and some of my friends did it so I thought it'd be fun to join them and it was such a fun atmosphere. How can a student apply for Ski and Snowboard Club? They'd have to get the classroom code from the announcements and then just sign up and buy the tickets which are cheaper to go through the school than it is to buy on your own. And we go to Mountain Creek every Wednesday and just have fun. What sort of atmosphere do you feel when you're in the Ski and Snowboard Club? Well, it's such a fun and happy atmosphere. We're all friends there just trying to have a good time and we go out on the hills and just have fun. Alice, why did you decide to join Ski and Snowboard Club? I joined Ski and Snowboard Club because I had a lot of free time after school and I love to ski, so I thought it would be a great thing to do with friends. And even if you don't know how to ski, like you could still learn and it's a good time. Alice, why do you continue to be a part of Ski and Snowboard Club five years later? Um, I'm still part of Ski and Snowboard Club because it's really fun and like every time you go it's a good time so why not be in it? Alice, what's your favorite part about Ski and Snowboard Club? My favorite part is watching all my friends wipe out on the mountain and laughing at them and you know creating all these memories that will last in my mind. What's something else you love about Ski and Snowboard Club? I love um, the beauty of like the ski mountain and at night especially with all the lights it's really pretty um, I also love the food it's really good lodge food is good how does somebody apply for ski and snowboard club um, through the Google classroom there's a link to the website and you can purchase for only $135 a five lift pass um, and then the bus ride is already included um, you just have to pay for food Hey Chanel, do you think hot dogs are sandwiches? Yes, obviously. It has a piece of meat between two pieces of bread. What do you think? Uh, well here's Emma with Cologne's Chronicles to settle our most heated debates. Oh hey wizards! Is a hot dog really a sandwich? Let's ask some teachers this question along with other controversial questions and see what's their take on it. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No, a hot dog is not a sandwich. A hot dog is a hot dog. <laughs> oh, a hot dog is delicious with spicy mustard. These kids, if we ketchup on it, disgusting. Is a hot dog a sandwich? That's true. No, clearly not. It's just a hot dog. It's not a sandwich. Yes. Yes? Yes, it is. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Oh, absolutely. Yes? Absolutely, yes. Pineapple belongs on pizza. Absolutely not. Okay. That is like a crime. <laughs> 
No. Like you put pep you put pineapple on a pizza, throw it out. And like no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Pineapple belongs on some pizzas. Absolutely. He meant absolutely not, no. No? It does not. So, if you're going to buy a textbook, I mean a notebook in the store, what color would you buy for science? Green and blue. What color is math? What color notebook is math? I'm colorblind. <laughs> I am. <laughs> what color are social studies? In a notebook? Yeah. Oh. What I color? meant like what would be our color because we had a red wing. No. Oh man. I don't know. Blue? Riddle, riddle me this. <laughs> is mac and cheese eaten with a spoon or a fork? Uh, mac and cheese is eaten with lots of pepper on it. They elevate it and you put some hot sauce in that puppy, right? You can go, uh, my kids use their hands. It's so gross. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my kids. They must take after their dad, right? They just get in there. Oh, that's such a mess. I don't care what they would eat it with. They can eat whatever they want. And they go spork if they're going camping. It does not matter. A spoon. Get as much volume as possible. <laughs> yeah. Spoon. Is chocolate ice cream better than vanilla ice cream? Heck no. Heck no. Vanilla all the way. Which comes first? The cereal before the milk or the milk before the cereal? The cereal before the milk. That's all for this week, Wizards. Peace out. That's all we have for this week, Wizards. Be sure to check out the Wizard Weekly and the hashtag Wizard Nation podcast. I'm Chanel. And I'm Julia. And, and this, this has been VGTV. Zooming in and out aggressively. Hey, November. Ah, that's a We're playing dodgeball right now because our, our team is just so good. So, uh, there's no competition this year. So now we're just gonna have fun. Janelle, do you think hot dogs are sandwiches? Yes, obviously. <laughs> it has a piece of meat between two pieces of bread. What do you think? I disagree, you're clearly wrong. Wait, what? Okay, are you not gonna grab the microphone? Hello, grab it. <laughs>